Good morning. How spiritually healthy is the nation of Israel when Jeremiah begins his call to public prophesying? We're going to read here in Jeremiah 2, verses 4 to 8. Hear the word of the Lord, O house of Jacob, and all the families of the house of Israel. Thus says the Lord, What injustice have your fathers found in me, that they have gone far from me, have followed idols, and have become idolaters? Neither did they say, Where is the Lord who brought us up out of the land of Egypt, who led us through the wilderness, through a land of deserts and pits, through a land of drought and the shadow of death, through a land that no one crossed and where no one dwelled? I brought you into a bountiful country to eat its fruits and its goodness. But when you entered, you defiled my land and made my heritage an abomination. The priests did not say, Where is the Lord? And those who handle the law did not know me. The rulers also transgressed against me. The prophets prophesied by Baal and walked after things that do not profit. So now here we begin a stretch dozens of verses long as God enters into a lawsuit, if you will, with his people. And this is sort of the preamble to the lawsuit, but he's going to jump right at it, jump right into it. What injustices has Israel found in him that they, so that they've turned to, to these dead, useless idols? How have they forgotten God's deliverance of them from Egypt and his, his protection of them as they went through the wilderness? Why do they have no thankfulness for the gift of this bountiful land that God has, has gifted to them, has put them in? Why? And why, when they arrive there, do they immediately begin to defile his land? Why? Then there's the situation of the priests, the rulers, and the prophets. And so the priests, they're quite indifferent. It's like they, they didn't notice. They didn't ask when they got there. They didn't uh, recognize that the nation wasn't walking with God. The, verse 8, the priests did not say, where is the Lord? Well, the priests should have said, something's not right here spiritually. We're not receiving the blessings we're used to receiving from him. What's going on? The priests were asleep at the switch. What do the rulers do? Well, they immediately go to transgressing against him. They're not even trying to be neutral. They're doing the very opposite of what he calls them to do. And then we come to the prophets. The prophets prophesied all right, but they prophesied by Baal. And so they're not speaking from, for a message from God's mouth to the people. They're speaking their own message. It's like every single institution that God has given his people to help them, they've all failed here. The priests, the rulers, and the prophets, they're not helping Israel. And so God's going to intervene, and he's going to intervene in a very marked way. When all the institutions sort of collapse, God uh, shifts gears, and he comes, he has to come with a different kind of firmness. And it's definitely coming, let me tell you, if you haven't read ahead. So strong interventions are just around the corner. And whenever we're seeking God, what we should do is we should check our watchfulness. Are we contributing to a spiritual malaise? Are we, uh, are we helping bring the, the level of spirituality among God's people up? Or are we just contributing to a decline, a continuing degeneration in the spiritual situation of God's people? God forbid. Let's hope not. Let's find out what we can do to bring the people up higher. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, Boy, it didn't take long for these people that you blessed in so many ways to immediately forget you and actually operate against you, even as your enemies. And so, boy, Jeremiah, you've really given him the assignment here. He's, he is to help straighten out these people. What a mess. But Lord, I, I pray that we're doing better, but I don't know if we're doing better. Please help us to be faithful. And the way to do it always is to begin for ourselves. So Lord, I ask for you to begin with me. Help my heart to be right with you, righter than it has been. And all who hear, Lord, bless them and guide them so that they can be a blessing wherever they're serving you, Lord. Thank you for hearing this important request we're making. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So let's think what measures you and I can take so that we don't sink into spiritual indifference, like the priests that didn't even know that the God that they were supposedly serving was, was sort of missing out of their, out of their experience. A giant omission. There are mighty things that God is longing to do, and he wants to use you and I. And they can be just around the corner. 